Hello everyone, welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number 22 in the Killer Shell exam simulation for certified Kubernetes application developer. Question number 22. So first we need to connect to the specific host. Let's connect to the 9043 host. Connected. Uh, the question says, uh, Team Sunny needs to identify uh, some of their parts in namespace Sun. They ask you to add new label called protected is true to all parts with an existing label. Type is worker or type is runner. So it's an either or uh, sort of label situation. Also add an annotation um, uh, protected. Do not delete this part to all the parts having the new label protected is set to true. So the focus for this question is uh, on labels and uh, annotations. So first let's inspect uh, the labels for all the parts uh, in the given namespace sun. So for that, in the, uh, let's execute kubectl. in the sun namespace get pod and then um, use the show hyphen labels uh, option to print the labels for all the parts in this namespace So we have a bunch of pods running in this namespace and all, all these pods are having uh, different types of label. So our focus is basically to identify all the pods uh, having uh, the labels uh, type equals worker or type equals runner. So for which uh, we'll use this one. Uh, so instead of get pods, let's straight away go and uh, label the pods. So on the sun labels uh, namespace, let's label all the pods uh, match whose uh, label uh, is set as type equals worker and label them as protected equals true. So this way uh, it will label, identify all the parts that matches the uh, label type equals worker. And then it will also label them uh, with uh, protected equals true. Now let's execute this. <coughs> So yeah, as you can see, uh, it has labeled some of these parts. Uh, let's inspect the part uh, to see if it has really done the job. So now we could see for uh, all the parts that has this label type equals worker. Now we see a protected, uh, we see an additional label that says protected equals true. So we have to now use the same approach to label uh, the other ones, which are of a type equals runner. Let's do that. Use the previous command, what I used. And then here I simply say type equals runner and set protected uh, as true and we'll verify once so anything that has a runner now we see uh, protected is also set to true as an additional label um, the next part of the question says we have to annotate or add an annotation um, for all those uh, parts with label protected set as true to also add additional part that says protected to not uh, delete this part. So for which we can do that by kubectl in the sun namespace, annotate part that has the label as protected equals true. Now we have to set this label that says uh, protected 
uh, equals to not donate. So we have to change this like this and then execute it. So we, have, we see uh, the annotation is done. So to verify this, uh, let's execute this. To get parts uh, with the labels that has protected set to true, uh, print the YAML definition. And let's grab, uh, let's say, five lines where we have this metadata so annotations uh, for all the parts that matches this label right so annotations we could clearly see of type runner and or type worker uh, we see protected do not delete this part so this annotation is already applied so yeah that concludes the question number 22 uh, in this series so that concludes uh, this and uh, if you like this video uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you very much uh, for watching